I wonder if uh, you've ever seen somebody write perhaps in a comment box on Facebook or perhaps some sort of cheap second-rate comedian on the television say something like, you know, I don't believe in the tooth fairy, I don't believe in Father Christmas, I don't believe in God. I regularly encounter this, particularly around Christmas every year, uh, with smug atheists, and that's not every atheist, just a few, trying to make this comparison that, you know, belief in God is childish and immature, just like belief in Santa Claus. It's great for the children, but not something for a respectable adult. So, is belief in God like belief in Santa Claus? Well, the simple answer is no. Let me show you why for a number of reasons. First thing is, I could take you to almost any university library anywhere in the world, and we could wander along to the philosophy section, and we could find dozens and even hundreds of books written by uh, bespectacled, bearded, you know, academic, serious philosophers discussing and debating the existence of God. I couldn't find the equivalent section for Father Christmas. Uh, there simply is no comparison. Secondly, of course, it's interesting to note that among the many slew of atheist books put out in recent years, my atheist friends don't see fit to write books with titles like The Santa Delusion, which tells me that even Richard Dawkins and his friends, they know that belief in God is not like belief in Santa Claus. But here's the more serious thing. What's the big difference between belief in God and belief in Father Christmas? I often like to conduct this experiment when I'm speaking to Christian audiences. I love to say to my audience, just out of interest, I say, raise your hand here if you became a Christian after the age of about 15. And you do that in most audiences, and about half the hands in the room go up. And many, many Christians uh, have found their faith in adult life. Uh, many atheists become Christians in adult life. But you ask the same question, how many of you here became believers in Santa Claus after the age of 15? And unless the local village lunatic is in the room, nobody puts their hand up. You immediately see the difference. People discover and come to belief in God as adults. They abandon belief in Santa Claus as children. And the fact that they come to belief that adults and former atheists and former skeptics and former members of other religions come to believe and encounter and meet Jesus as adults tells us something. It tells us that what it all boils down to in the terms of, in terms of God and the Christian faith is not at what age you believe things so much as this question instead. Is it true? That's the question that really matters. Is the existence of God true? Is the Christian faith true? And that's the only question that's worth wrestling with. But to wrestle with that, you need to think like an adult and not a child and not use childish arguments like comparing God to Santa. But there's something else going on too. Is it true is one question, but the second question is what difference does it make? And that is the question I think that really matters. You see, when I hear a grown adult try and dismiss belief in God by comparing it to Santa Claus, that tells me they are trying to avoid the question. They're trying to push the God question out of the door because they've probably worked out that if God does exist, some things need to change. Because if Christianity is true and the claims of Jesus are true, that means he is Lord and I'm not. And that can be quite a step to come to terms with. Much easier to ridicule the whole thing and pretend it's not true. But of course, at that point, I'm not behaving like an adult. I'm behaving like a child. And if you can't even think seriously about the God question without being immature, then maybe you should leave the grown-ups to have that conversation, and you can sit next door, put your fingers in your ears, and sing. Maybe something cheerful and charming and encouraging. Maybe something like, Santa Claus is coming to town.